Hi, this is Mrs. Sebastian, and we're going to look at Unit 1, Geometry, Lesson 7, The Area and Circumference of Circles. So find the area of the given circle round to the nearest tenth. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay, that means pi times the radius times the radius. So pi, we're going to put as 3.14. If they ask you for an exact number, you're going to leave it as pi. But since it says round to the nearest tenth, we're going to plug in 3.14 times my radius squared. So I'm going to use my calculator there to do 3.14 times 12 squared, or 12 times 12. And I get that my area is 452 and 16 hundredths, and that will be centimeters squared. Find the circumference of the given circle, round to the nearest tenth. So what we are going to do is we are going to say the circumference equals 2 times pi times r. So the circumference is equal to 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 12. So now all we have to do is plug that into our calculator. 3.14 times 2 times 12. And we do get 75 and 36 hundredths. And this is just centimeters. Because you are not multiplying lengths together, it's not area, so you don't have to have the squared. Find the area of the given circle round to the nearest tenth. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. Because we need our radius, we have to cut the diameter in half. So the radius is equal to 8. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So now I could plug it in. 3.14 times our radius, which is 8, times 8 or 8 squared. So now I'm going to plug that into my calculator. 3.14 times 8 times 8 and I do get that the area is 296 hundredths and we don't have a unit so I'm going to just put units squared. Okay, find the area of the irregular shape below, round to the nearest tenth. So I see half of a circle up here, and it shows me the radius here. So I'm going to plug that in. I've got area equals pi r squared. So I've got 3.14 times 12.5 squared. So the area of the whole circle is 490.625 centimeters squared. Well, I don't have the whole circle. I only have half of it. So I'm going to divide that um, by 2, and I do get 245. And I'm just going to round it to the nearest tenth there, 0.3, and that is centimeters squared. So I found the area of half a circle. Now I've got to find the area of the rectangle below. So the area of a rectangle is just length times width or base times height. So I'm just going to multiply these. 20 times 25. 20 times 25 gives us 500. And that is centimeters squared. So now I've got two different measurements here. So all I need to do is add them. 
So 245 point three plus five hundred gives me seven hundred and forty five point three and that is centimeters squared. Find the area of the blue portion of the irregular shape. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the circle that's not covered. So that's going to be pi times r squared. Well, we have r, which is our radius is 12. So I've got 3.14 times 12 times 12. And that gives us 452.16. And that is units squared. Now, we need to find the area of the entire square. Well, if I know that half of it is 12, the other half is 12. This is a square, so the area is the side length squared. So 12 plus 12 is 24, so this is 24 squared. 24 squared, if I add um, 24 times 24, I get 576. And then I'm going to subtract these two to find the blue. 576 minus 452. And it says to the nearest tenth, so I'm going to do 0.2. So five seventy six minus four fifty two point two gives me the area is one hundred and twenty three point eight units squared, and that is the area of the blue shaded part.